This is Colin McGuigan for AFL TV. Delighted to be joined by Sean McComb. Andy Dobbin are here with you, Sean, because you still can't piss, mate. All good? Yeah, mate. Getting stage fright, fuck's sake. Usual, I'll carry on with me. But clean sport, though. Clean sport, clean sport, always. Obviously, tonight we seen a career best performance from you, I would say, in my opinion. Having watched you throughout the years. How did you feel in there against Sam Maxwell? Yeah, it just felt, felt very disciplined and, and it was a good performance. I, I know Sam Steenus were right hand and I know what he brings to the table. I haven't shared a ring with many times spawn and I just feel what we had what we had planned worked, worked exactly to what we wanted to do and I just stayed disciplined through the performance. Did you show a different level to your game out there? Because a lot of people wouldn't see you as a big puncher, but you dropped them three times. Yeah, well, you know what, it's just Boxing IQ, the higher, the higher the levels you go, it becomes more of a boxing IQ. Um, and I believe I have a really, really good boxing IQ. Um, I have good timing and good distance, and I'm able to get my shots off better. But when people obviously just come playing, or I'm starting to favour them sometimes, you, you, you don't get to use your boxing IQ, you're just boxing off instinct. You're just boxing off like, muscle memory a lot of the times. So you're moving your feet, you're not getting hit, and then you're starting in a wee bit. So, yeah, it, it's better to box someone who's actually trying to suss, suss you out rather than just coming at you. Um, it's easy to just move and box ahead of people all day, but when someone actually wants to try and suss you out in the turn, then it makes me that be a bit better, I believe. A statement win. You're someone that needs a promoter. Evidently, you know, like Eddie Arns out there, he called for it this week. He has said winner stays on. Hoping to be on another matchroom card in the near future? Yeah, well, this card's been phenomenal. The whole week's been phenomenal. Um... And I believe the platform that Eddie brings is the best platform in, in boxing and, and, and it would be an honour to, 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 to get back on the show again. As I said, a statement win. What's next for Sean McComb? What's the names out there that you're looking at? You're at a stage of your career now where you want the big fights, right? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm hoping now that I can push up the rankings with WBO. I think I'm ranked 8 before this fight. Um, and there's big fights there for maybe an eliminator. You've, you've Liam Paro fighting next week for the Intercontinental. <coughs> and you've Arnold Barbosa as the big names, you know. There's no reason why why we can't fit one of them guys for like an, an uh, like an eliminator and then push on to maybe a world title. It'd be wrong of me not to ask us. Obviously, Gavin Gwynn last night. I'm sure you maybe seen that fight. Is that something you'd want to run back at some point, or are you past that now, Sean? It's past it. He's a lightweight. He's doing very well at lightweight. I'm super lightweight. I'm doing very well at super lightweight, and um, just well past it. I mean, if if, if the fight ever came to it, I'm sure after his win last night, he'll be looking to push on to maybe. An eliminator for lightweight, he'd be ranked maybe within all the governing bodies with EBU, and he could maybe push on lightweight, and I'm gonna push on super lightweight. Well, Sean, you were like Houdini this week. I couldn't get you, mate, but finally got you on fight night, and great win, and hopefully see you again on AFL. Thank you very much.